Hi everyone, first name Chris, last name makeup here, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so let's start off, I'm tired. Again, I'm tired. Holy shit. <sighs> I don't know. Yes, I'm, feeling a, I'm feeling a lot today, a lot of emotions. Like, my period started, there was a lot of work drama yesterday. <sighs> um... Oh man, I probably could talk about while I'm doing the makeup, but anyways, that's not, not why y'all are here. So, um, I have a lot of new makeup. I'm just going to be, today's just going to be a day where I just sit and play with makeup. It's a day where I can finally relax. Finals are over. It's time to breathe, relax. But yeah, I have a new foundation, new powders, new highlighters, even new brushes. Yeah, mainly we got to go over this bad boy right here. So yeah, I got the new brush roll from ColourPop. So yeah, new eyeshadow palette. I got like a whole bunch of new stuff along with a couple of old things I'll be using. So I think I'll just hush and get in to the video. So, All right, so for primer, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild three-in-one primer water. I have this in the cucumber one. I know they have like three types. They have like the cucumber one I have here. They have the rose and the coconut. I don't know. I smelled all three in Walgreens and I think I liked this one out of the three. It's rare that I've ever used a primer water, but because like now I kind of have a purpose for a primer water because if I have a foundation stick that's like that kind of tugs on my skin when I apply it. I use a primer water to kind of, you know, loosen the feel for it. So I'm gonna be using that today. And the new foundation stick that I have is the one from Juvia's Place. This one right here. This is in the shade Abigen. Honestly, I don't really know if I'm saying it right. Please tell me the correct pronunciation in the comments to be much appreciated. So, um, let's see, I don't know if I have my mirror today. So I can do precise application. Yeah, and if you hear any notifications, that's coming from my phone. And like, you know, um, you know, disregard any background noise and stuff like that. You know, the usual with me. <laughs> I don't really have a computer, so I'm just doing all this from my phone. I don't even applying the foundation now. So, I'm this all over my face. Okay, so chin. Good old forehead. Temples and the nose. Okay. Just a little bit over here, just in case. All right. So foundation. Um, just need to blend it out. I'm gonna be using an old brush. This isn't gonna be anything new. I'm be getting into the um, brush roll shortly. But yeah, I'm gonna be using this brush from Elf. It's the ultimate blending brush. This one right here to blend out my foundation. So. Hopefully it will be smooth, smooth application today. Hmm. I'm gonna use this particular brush for if like a foundation stick is a little tough. Hmm. It was giving me a little bit of a hard time. I don't like using, personally, I don't like using a sponge to blend out my foundation sticks. Um, when I use a foundation stick, I don't really like to use a sponge. Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't understand people who do, to be, if I'm being honest. But that's just y'all. Y'all probably, y'all have a method to y'all madness. So, you know. I'm sorry to hear everybody pick up noise from over here. Just try my best not to hit the mic too much. But yeah, a lot of shit's been going on, so, um, I don't know, there's like, something that happened with my body that I'm not really comfortable talking about. Um, I don't think my boyfriend would approve me talking about it, so I'm not really going to say much on it. But let's just say there was a scare. There was a scare. And we were relieved, both of us were relieved that the scare did not come true. And that's why I'm on my period today. 
Okay, so far this foundation stick looks good. It looks good. It's just, you know, it, the blending is kind of, um, the blending of it is kind of not difficult. It's just kind of tedious. But maybe, but right now it looks good. At least on this side it looks good. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see on the other side. It looks good. I think I might do like a second layer. Oh Lord, I'm so nauseous. It's because of my period. I forget that nausea can sometimes be a part of, um, a part of, pre not pregnancy, fucking, <laughs> God, a part of having a period. It's not fun. I hate being nauseous. It's like, I, I hate being nauseous, period. It's like the worst, one of the worst feelings in the fucking world. Like, just please, just, I don't need this at all. It looks like a nice skin layer. It looks smooth. So yeah, this is nice. And the phone, the home phone is ringing. That's nice. But um, yeah, I'm trying to look at the natural light to see how this looks. That's why I'm looking off this way. Um, and so far so good. So far so good with this. Um, I might still apply a little more to the left side. <sighs> why am I dizzy? Jesus Christ. Just a little more to the left side. I like this shade. It looks really nice on me. Really nice, really natural. All right, so just to blend it in a bit. There we go. Wow. Wow, okay. This is a very, very nice foundation stick. Okay. But I'm going to have to see how this wears throughout the day because I honestly, I made the mistake of going on to um, Ulta and seeing the reviews I mean, honestly, with Juvia's Place um, products, both the liquid and the stick foundation had the same rating. They had both had three and a half stars. So um, I'm kind of scared about that. But then again, you know Ulta. When Ulta reviewers, the difference between like Ulta reviewers and Sephora reviewers, it's like um, they can be Ulta reviewers can be extremely brutal. But sometimes brutal for no reason. But like Sephora, you see like a shit ton of positive reviews. It, it's, it would be like rare that you see true products that are like three and a half, three stars, that type of thing. Uh, anyways, all right. For concealer, I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer in the shade D500. It's deep golden. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think y'all seen this concealer. Me use this concealer before, but you could be using it. And I have a couple of new brushes to show that to um, blend up this concealer today. I to this out. Oh yeah, and the thing is, it's not really like a concealer shade. It's like more of, um, I think this matches my skin, like my bare skin, like without makeup, so, which is interesting. So I'm gonna be using two different concealer brushes to see which one I like better. First one I have is from Real Techniques. It's from like the little essential set. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush. It's supposed to be for eyes, but it's honestly too big for my eyes, personally. And I have one from Sephora. This is the concealer brush from their little magnetic collection. So I'm going to use the Real Techniques brush on this side and the Sephora one on this side. So I'll start that off. Um, so yeah. And uh, like I said, there has been some workplace drama. And honestly, it was scary as hell hell. And I don't want to go into too much detail about it, but I'm still going to try and talk about it. So, um, you know, I was at work. I was supposed to get off at a certain time, and I did not. Uh, it was the district manager. She wanted to hold a meeting for the managers. And at first, it was a normal meeting. The district manager, she do what she do. And, um... Oh, wow, this is blending so nicely. With this one, with this brush. Okay. But I do see a little bit of my smiling coming through on this side. That's not good. But yeah, maybe when I add the setting spray, it'll come to together. All right, and then I'm using my um, Sephora brush on this side. All right. So, um, yeah. And then, like, at first it was normal conversation, and then the managers got into a, not a fight, 
but it was just like a, a lot of arguing, a little, a lot of verbal argument. Um, it was kind of crazy, but that, crap, I knew I forgot something. I forgot, um, I actually have it right here, convenience, convenience, I actually have it. Okay, let's see, but hopefully I've blended this out enough. Oh yeah, funny thing, funny thing about this brush, I actually got this at half off. This was $5, and the funny thing about it was I did not see it on the Sephora app. This was like one of the brushes that I wanted on the Sephora. It wasn't on the Sephora app, but when I went to treat myself one time, I saw it in stores. Well, which is nice, on the Sephora I usually go to. Um, but anyways, um, from that side note, continuing on to the main story, talking about... Um, freaking so yeah argument ensued and then like one of the managers his girlfriend came in because like you know the one of the managers was like you know getting all hyped up and stuff like that okay for setting my under eye i'm using i'm letting you know i'm using a lot of cover girl in this video and i'm using the cover girl true blend mineral true blend minerals loose mineral powder in the shade medium so this is probably gonna be messy this is like a lot like I said I'm using a lot of new stuff at least stuff that's new to me a little powder puff here not gonna fucking use it <laughs> I mean I'll keep it because it's cute but you know other than that no Ooh, wow okay so be careful because it's starting to get everywhere okay a little sifter okay right here interesting color yeah I said it's an interesting color but I feel like it's like it has a red really red undertone I'm just gonna use the cap for a little bit. Oh, hold on now. I have a better idea. Okay. Smack it a couple times. Hopefully something will come out. There we go. Ah, now we're talking. All right. Ooh, I feel like it's not going to be finely milled enough. Okay, but anyways. Um, setting. I'm going to be using... I guess I'll use my good old setting brush from Real Techniques. This is the old one. I'm going to talk about the new one later. Ooh, wow. This is, stuff is barely moving. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Girlfriend gets involved. And then, like, you know, she insults one of the managers and a fight almost broke out. Which is, you know, not good. And my stupid ass decides to step in. Yeah, I decide to step in and try to break up the fight. I mean, the district manager, she was also trying to break up the fight. She wanted to keep her. She mainly wanted to keep the peace. She wanted no fights broken out. She just wanted to, like, you know, of course she was letting everyone speak while the whole argument thing was going on. Like, you know, but like I said, it was just, it just wasn't good. And then, like, you know, fight broke out. Or was about to break out. We kept, like, you know, the girlfriend had to leave. Me and the district manager was like, no, you got to go, fam. You can't stay here. You're throwing all these insults and stuff like that. And you don't even work here, first of all. I think the reason she's all riled up was because um, her boyfriend would go back and tell her stuff that would happen at work. But he'd probably make it where he's the victim. Probably. But, um, yeah. There's that. And so, um, I don't know, district manager, she was like, this is getting out of hand. If y'all don't leave, I'm calling the police. And, like, you know, she did. She did call the police eventually. And, um, they did, or but they left before the police arrived. And... They got the, um, yeah. I'm liking this powder. This powder is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, she still gave information about the manager and his girlfriend, which is crazy. And it's like, you know, one of my managers was shook. And the other one was just like, oh, Lord, my chest. It was just, it was mainly like 
three managers out of the four that were there were arguing amongst each other. Um, yeah. I don't know. It was kind of this. And meanwhile, me and my coworkers, we're just trying to get orders out and stuff like that. We weren't really caring too, too much about, um, I'm sure a couple of us made comments here and there. But, other than that, it was, um, yeah, it was pretty bad. Like, you know, the district manager, she asked if I was alright. Because I did get involved. Like I said, I got involved in it. And I said I was okay, just a little bit traumatized. Because that, and like, you know, tell me personally, if this wasn't a sign to get the fuck from my current job and find another one if I ignored all their signs this is pretty much the sign to get going okay I don't know if it's just me or is if my under eyes looking pretty gray I don't know if it's just me I'm gonna keep going and see because I don't know I can't really tell from the, of course you can't tell from like the camera but I'm looking in the, at my little mirror and it just looks gray I'm going to probably take a picture later and see if it really does affect anything. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a fucking mess because I had to put this cat back on. Okay. I had to find, I wish I had like a little clear space where I could just put everything and just, okay. That's fine. Okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too messy of a powder. Good. Okay. Cool. All right. So, okay. Under eye set. All right, for pressed powder, I'm going to be taking the little True Blend pressed powder here. It is in the shade Truth Translucent Sable, but on the packaging, it said it would cover D5, D6, and D7. So if you have, like, D50, D60, D70, you're good. On, um, like, using this as a pressed powder to set the rest of your face. So, yeah, it comes with this little thing right here. Not going to fucking use it. I'm going to be using this brush from Equate Beauty, another new brush that I have. This is like Walmart's brand of brushes, well, makeup brushes. I know Awake Quake Beauty is like a general knockoff brand, their little brand. So, um, yeah, I'm using this powder brush. Juicy Jazz made me buy this. This is a really nice brush. Um, also, this powder comes with like a tiny ass mirror. And like, what good is this going? What good is this going to do? Like, what, is this supposed to be for detailing? But whatever. I'm going to be, I'm going to shut up and just use the powder. I'm going to use this to set the rest of my face. I put a light layer on that. I don't really feel like doing anything too, too big because, like, I'm not really. I'm just going to the store today, but I don't know what that would require me to get a full face for, but I don't really care. Just trying to exist here, play with makeup. Just finally have a day where I can relax after finals. Because finals were hell. I already know I bombed one of them because, like, I don't know. The teacher was just such a prick, man. Like, he talked, he would talk to you, or he would talk to the class, like, we were children, like, little bitty-ass children. He misgendered one of my classmates, um, and I know one poem with a black person presenting, he said the fucking N-word. I'm like, yo, yeah, this dude has got to fucking go, but, you know, one, the school doesn't give a fuck, and I'll get on that in a second, speaking of. The school won't give a fuck. And, like, you know, when you're a teacher and you're on tenure, you're basically untouchable. Which, honestly, I kind of hate that. Because, like, you know, if you could... Basically, you could get into a scandal, probably. Into some kind of scandal. And, like, they're not going to care. But, um... Let's see. Yeah, you could get into some kind of scandal and they're not going to care. I mean, it would probably take some real fuck shit for you to get fired. Like, really taken off your job. Because I already know one scandal that doesn't fly is like, I mean, well, I don't know. But yeah, how I say the school doesn't give a fuck. Specifically, there has been an incident on the school I go to where they have a social app. There has been a case of transphobia on the app. And this little white girl would have kept calling a transgender person it. And of course, the person I think was a trans woman. And I'm just like, what the fuck? It's just so infuriating. And like, you know, of course the girl didn't get in trouble. And of course the fucking school just sent out an email saying, we don't tolerate this. And why aren't you doing anything about it? 
the social app that y'all have put up has no moderators so people can basically be as grossly prejudiced and bigoted as they want and that's why I left that app um a couple years ago because I I used to be on it but then it's like you know once someone was being horribly transphobic and racist yeah because it's just basically ridden with racism and transphobia now so I'm just like yeah I'm not about to get on there anymore and the people I know, I already know people in the club at my school have tried to report this, but you know, they don't care. They don't. And they're not going to care. Um, okay. Yeah, face is looking pretty nice. Okay. Okay. Face is looking nice. Okay. But, uh, let's set, set. Yeah. Okay. I'm right, gonna see how this fares throughout the day. I'm moving on for bronzer because I'll use my Prime Beauty bronzer and we finally get to get into this brush roll. So let's see how I feel about it. And um, yeah, and I'll explain about the brush roll in a second why I use different brushes. So I did take, I didn't use any of the brushes in here, but I did take a look at it. So I'm going to show y'all. This is the brush set in all its glory right here. So as you can see, it's mostly eye brushes. The brush set is mostly eye brushes. It doesn't bother me too much. It's just, you know, you have one powder rush, which to me, how it's built, how it looks, and excuse the frayed thing, on, I put it in too rough one time. That's what she said. But um, to me, how it's tapered, to me, it feels like I could use this as a bronzer brush, and I'm probably going to be using this as a bronzer brush today. They have two types of blush brushes, and the rest is just like eye brushes. I feel like this one, oh, this particular one, you could probably get away with using this as a concealer brush, which you probably can. Yeah, you, you probably can. And I think one you probably can get away with using as a highlighter brush, like this particular one right here, which is the E15, and the one I thought could be concealer is E4, but I don't know. I'm probably not going to use every brush in here in this set, but I'm probably going to use like a good chunk of them today. So, um, let's see. No, let's see. So first brush definitely going to use is the F fit F18, which is the powder brush. It has these damn things. I wish I could I probably will clip these off later, but you know, I'm gonna use this with my bronzer today. Probably not gonna do too much. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm gonna try not to do too much bronzing. But I don't know, but in this particular light, it's hard for me to tell if I have the bronzer on or not. Like, if I'm doing my makeup at school, I know that I have the bronzer on because the lighting's really good. But, um, this, okay, I think I can tell a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, oh, this is in the shade Brownsville, by the way. Well, not Browns, Bronzeville. This is the shade Bronzeville. I like using, I like this bronzer a lot. This one and the e.l.f. bronzer that I have. And there's like two more bronzers that I want to get. There's like one from the Lip Bar. They're little bronzer blush duos. I want to get that. And I'm trying to think, what was another? Oh, Vesca Beauty. Vesca Beauty, I learned from, I think, Too Much Mouth on YouTube. She was doing like a little video on um, Vesca and how their first product was um, bronzers. I don't know one I want. I think one's called Cabo or something. I think that's what I'm gonna. Okay. I don't know. The right side is kind of hard to tell if I have bronzer on. The left, I can see. For the right side, like I'm trying to like go by natural light. Yeah, I see that's on. Okay. I'm gonna try and get a little bit on my cheekbones. I like to bronze. I don't really like to contour. I'm not a contour girl. Because I already have cheekbones, so what the fuck is the point of contouring? It's stupid. But I don't know. But then, I don't know. I've seen people my body type, my size, do contouring anyway. I'm like, I guess for, like, dramatic effect. Which is cool. That's fine. Do you. Like, I personally like to bronze. Bronzing is, like, really nice. It's a nice little type of thing to bring warmth back into your skin. To finally figure out how to use bronzer. And, like, I don't know how to act. So, yeah. I like this. Nice brush. Definitely using this as a bronzer brush. And I'm keeping the brush roll after I like use all the stuff in here. Right. Um, blush. I'm gonna dip into an old favorite. My little elf. 
bronze blush palette bronzer palette blush palette in the style dark I'm just gonna mix everything in here I don't really know I my mind is not set on a specific color I'm just gonna mix all of them and I'm going to be using the let's see the F21 which is like the angled blush brush they have two types of blush brushes in here they have the angled one and then this regular one which is the F20 mm, I don't really feel like using this one for it specifically for blush I've, I've been liking angled brushes to use for blush so I like to I'll use the the F21 okay, put this one back this particular one back Mm -hmm. right. I think it was going in order too. So, all right. Just gonna mix everything in here. <laughs> so I don't know what what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a super color, some kind of weird super color today. So I don't really know what I'm going to do specifically. I mean, I know what I'm doing. I kind of have an idea what to do for my eyes, but um, face, I'm not really, well, as far as blush anyway, face with blush, I'm not really sure what to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, getting notifications and stuff, so if you hear anything. So, it's probably not going to show up on my face, but oh well. I'm just going to do like a little splash of blush. But yeah. Mm -hmm. so. I don't know. The face is looking pretty good so far. Well, it looks pretty dark, but I think I blame the lighting for that. I'm going to see how I do when um, I go to the bathroom and take pictures after. Alright, highlighter. I have two different highlighters. I have one from L'Oreal and another from CoverGirl. So the one I have from L'Oreal is the Crushed Foil Metallic Highlighter in the shade Gilded Gold. And then I have the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow in the shade Gilded Glory. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal on this side and the CoverGirl on this side. And I have like a new brush and an old brush to use. The new brush I'll be using the, it's another setting brush from um, Real Techniques, but it's from that little Everyday Essentials set. And the old one I got is from Wet n Wild, my little P75 tapered highlighting brush. So I'll be using this one with the crushed foil and this one with the Hyper Glow. So, yeah, I gotta open them first because like I never really, I just bought them. Never really tried to, ooh wow, it looks so beautiful. Like look at this. Look how beautiful that looks. Okay, so I'm going to be using that. That's going to be one. Oh, wow. Okay, this is about to be some thick-ass highlighter. I just dipped it into the brush and just... Oh, God. Okay. Let me see how this looks on the face. Okay, she cute. She cute. This dipping into the brush is kind of interesting to do. Okay. Yeah, she's nice. Okay. But I'm gonna try not to put too much. I don't want to pile this on because like it looks kind of heavy. Like you know, if you put too much, it'll make it like an obvious thing that you have highlighter on. I'm not trying to put too much on there. All right. So yeah, just applied the L'Oreal one on this side. Ooh, okay, cute. I like this one. Okay, and then I have the CoverGirl one. About to use that one. My wet and wild brush. Oh, good lord. Okay, it's powder everywhere on that one. Um, okay. Let me do that. Two. Oh, lord. Oh, god, I'm a mess. <laughs> um, I'm really I'm a mess emotionally right now because holy shit. I think I might put this, the hyper glow one on my nose too. Oh, my god. Okay. Oops, I think I put too much on one. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not trying to put, like, I'm not trying to pile it on. I'm just, oh my god. That's the thing I don't like about tapered brushes like this. You don't have that much control. 
you oh my god okay it looks cute though it looks cute it does i like it i like them both i'm keeping them both they're lovely okay um let's see so now we're going to get to eyes and for eyes i'm going to be using my morphe palette okay this is the stunning vibes artistry palette i've been feeding after this one for a minute Ulta had a sale on it for $15. It was this one and the Boss Mood palette. They were originally $25. They were on sale for $15. Snagged this bad boy. So, dude, look at this. Look at this. Look at these colors. So pretty. And they have like a little thing to name it for the names of the shades. So, I probably might buy a white pen today and like just write the names on here so I don't have to keep reaching for this. I can throw this away. I know some people don't like it, but eh. Okay. So, um, I think I'm going to start with the shade Turned On, which is this shade right here. And I'm probably going to start with, yeah, just know I'm going to be using the brush roll to get the stuff started. And I'm not really good at picking on um, blending brushes and stuff, so I don't know, I'm just winging it. I'm going to be using the, I'm going to try the E16. I'm going to start with that one. If I can get out the paper, I forgot to pinch it at the bottom. So I think this could be a good one. Okay. I'm going to start with the shade turned on. Ooh, pigment. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to start with that one. And the thing is, I didn't prime my eyes. So let's see. I probably should have primed my eyes for that, but I didn't. Oh, yeah, this is what the um, E16 looks like right here. Has this little tapered thing about it, yeah, and the tint and the shade turned on is kind of like this orangey, brownish type color. This this is just like my transition color to get everything rolling. I'm gonna attempt a halo eye today. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attempt a halo eye. Because this is a this is a nice color on my eyes. I like it. So. And here I am going to the basically going to fucking Walmart with a goddamn halo eye. Because I'm stupid like that. I'm extra like that, you know? Okay. So hopefully I don't get much fallout. I'm not trying to look for fallout. If there is, I probably might just get my powder brush and just scoot that away. Yeah, it does show up pretty good in my eyes. This one particular shade. Yeah, again, this is the shade turned on. And she cute. She a cute color. I like her. All right. Next, I'm going to be taking... Um, okay, I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to take the brush, E19, the E19 brush. This bad boy over here. And take the shade... Um, I think... Trist, which is the one next to it. This little purpley pinky shade. Ooh, okay. There we go. Okay, about to say. It's once you get that initial layer off, you're good. Okay. I'm gonna just blend that, focus that a little more into the crease. Focus on Because this one I think could be a little brush to focus more. Okay. This is looking nice so far. I might go to disaster with the next color I pick. I already know. Oh lord. Yeah, I'm liking this palette so far. This is a nice palette. I know, like, I've been hearing people say, like, um, you know, they're over big palettes, and I understand that. It's like, with big palettes, like my Morphe palette that I have here, it can be really overwhelming to choose the colors and, like, what looks you're gonna go for. And stuff like that. I understand. But I'm like, I'm not really like a huge, huge fan of um, 
big palettes myself. Honestly, I on occasions. I like big palettes on occasions. I'm not really like super super into um big ass palettes. So. Okay. I'm gonna go over it one more time. Yeah, again, this is the shade Trist. Really nice. Really nice. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so far so good. Nice. All right. Um, let's see. These two shades. Um, what am I going to use? I think I will use this brush next. The E20, E21. This one right here. This brush right here. And I'm going to take the shade what is that? Bad Boy. Take the shade Bad Boy, which is this deep purple shade right here. I'm gonna, this is how I'm gonna do my little halo eye. Um, what's that? Oh yeah, the pigment is there with these shades, honey. The pigment is there. Mm, at least it was so far, let me see. Oh. There we go, there we go, okay. Is that to say? Hmm. It kind of looks a bit patchy over here. Then again, I get when I get over to this area, it does get. It doesn't really register. This area, of my eye it doesn't really register makeup that good. Which is kind of interesting. But not interesting in a good way. It's just like, why? Why would you not want to register the makeup? Or the eyeshadow that I'm putting on my eye. Yeah. God, why do I think a halo eye is a good idea for this? Oh my god. This is like such a good idea in my head. But now that I'm actually executing it, it just looks... It looks bad. <laughs> it looks bad today. Oh. I don't know. And like, you know, sometimes the makeup will show up more on my left eye than it does on my right, regardless of like what I do. It's like, it's weird. It's really weird. Okay, is that fallout? I can't tell if that's fallout or not. But anyways, we're gonna keep it pushing and try the left eye. I'm gonna try the left eye and see of the kept registered. Yeah, this is kind of a patchy color, which is very not good. It's not good. Not good at all. A little pack and swirl. Probably what it'll do. And get on the inner corner too, because then this the halo eye. I think the whole basis of that is you do the outer corner and inner corner, and then in the center you put your other color, you put your shimmer. That's what I'm trying to do. That's my little method to my madness for this. But yeah, sorry if I keep going away, just trying to focus everything on here. Oh Jesus, the waterfall. It's like you can't do anything, like you can't, can I live? Can I live? Oh god, this looks, I mean it doesn't look terrible, because like, you know, you gotta just continue to work with it. And like I said, I did not use any eye primer or concealer, so that's probably why it looks the way it looks. So I'm definitely going to take that into account, but I still think the purple it is a bit patchy, because like every time um, I try to put this in, it doesn't really register the color that well. Okay. I think I may have put too much on, the le on my left eye, but that's okay. I could probably like, get a transition color to sweep that away real quick. And the thing that sucks is there's only like two purple shades in here. Yeah, there's only like two purple shades. Just Bad Boy and the shade next to it, which is Crush. Which is a pretty purple shimmer, but I'm not using a purple shimmer today. I'm not going to be using that. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to clean up. The right eye looks good. The right eye looks good. It's just the left eye. I don't know why. Usually, left eye would come out better, but... The left eye is, like, kind of looking kind of meh right now. Because it's mainly at the top. It's mainly at the top. I can, like, easily sweep that away. Okay. All right, good. Just need to add our shimmer. And I'm kind of heavily debating on what I want to put. I think I might put the shade, now that I'm looking at it in broad daylight, I was going to go for the shade Swoon, which is this bronzy shade. Yeah, um, yeah I was going to go for Swoon, which is this bronzy shade, but I'm going to go with the shade next to it, which is French Kiss. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take the shade, not shade, I'm going to take the brush from the brush set, the E20. I'm going to try the E20, see what that looks like. And they said it was like some kind of detailed shader brush. It's very tiny, so I'm going to see how that rolls. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to take the shade French Kiss. See the shade. Ooh, okay. <sighs> Hopefully this doesn't mess up the look. I will cry if it does. Yeah, I'm trying to make this a little fair. Okay, yeah, this is cute. All right. This is cute. I like this. This is looking really nice. I thought it was going to be so ugly, but... There's, like, this look was playing in my head for a minute. This, yeah, when I looked at this palette, this look was playing in my head for a hot minute. Like, a cute little moment of purple and gold. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I want to do today. And it looks cute. I just need something to kind of like blend it together. Like a nice little transition shade. I think I might use one of the, um, I'm trying to figure out which shade I want to use. I might use, um, let's see. Let me shade with it. Seduce, this shade right here. Seduce to kind of bring it all together. Oh, wow, I'm digging quite a pit in French Kiss. Um, <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah. yeah, I'm liking how it looks. It looks really nice. I like it. Yes, I like this. My little halo eye. Attempt at a halo eye. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me just focus a little bit up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then again, I might go back into Trist with this brush. I might take a fluffier brush, though, to go back into it. I might take, um, I'm going to try the E17, which is this one. Let's get out the packaging. The E17 is a little bit of a fluffier brush. I might try, dip into that one, <sighs> lightly dip into that one, and kind of just blend just on my left eye because my left eye is kind of um purple centric i'm not trying to have that too much too much purple over there yeah this isn't where i am just taking that a little bit of that not too much. i mean i want purple to like have its moment and i'm gonna go back into the brush not really much product on it and try to like tap it back and back just tap just tap and pat tap do that I was trying to get that in there. Yeah, it looks nice. I like how this looks. I really do. Okay. It looks pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Really cute. Yeah. What the hell? Is that the cat? Okay, anyways, but yeah. This this palette stamp of approval for me. I love it. I love it a lot. I already know this won't be my this won't be my last Morphe palette. So, moving on, eyes are. Ooh, wait, no, I need an inner corner highlight. I need an inner corner highlight, and there is no. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about with this. There is no um, with this brush set. Like I said before, there's mostly eye brushes. There are like two blush brushes, powder brush. There's no foundation brush. There's no concealer brushes. There's no. Um, yeah, no under eye setting brushes there's nothing like that it's just two blush brushes a shit ton of eye brushes one lip brush and this is the lip brush right here 
And I don't use lip brushes, so yeah, this is the L1. This is what it looks like. So, yeah. Um, and there are also like a couple brushes in here that I didn't use. I think there may be a couple I will use down later down the line. Okay. But anyways, so my inner corner highlight, I think I'm going to take... Let's see, look at that shade thing. Here it is. Okay. I'm going to take the shade Lust, which is this one, and put that in my inner corner. And that's this really pinky shade, which is called Heartbreaker. Okay, and I'm going to take one of my older ColourPop brushes, I guess. I'm going to take my little E10, which is this one, and take Lust and put that in my inner corner. This is like a really beautiful palette with beautiful colors. The thing is, I already know everybody has a problematic fave when it comes to like something. Which just kind of sucks. I really wish like we didn't have problematic faves or just like problematic shit in general. But like, you know, Morphe is one of my problematic fave brands. I mean, there's some brands that I will never use. Straight up because of how problematic the, either the brand is or the creator. And I'm not going to name names. Some of y'all already know who I'm talking about. But, um, yeah. Ooh, I don't know why it's not registered in my left eye. I left it in the corner. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I put the shade Lust on here. Pretty. I love it. Okay. So, Yep. This palette gets my stamp of approval. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. But then again, it's me using a few select colors. I do want to play with this palette more. But like I said, I have like two other eyeshadow palettes. I've been... I haven't been on an eyeshadow palette buying spree, but I've been definitely dipping into... Um, like, not dipping into, but I've been buying quite a few of them. It's kind of problematic. I might be doing a declutter soon. You'll be seeing that soon enough on my channel. Uh, anyways, oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, uh, with the brush roll, I also got a, the little pretty fresh sponge. And I'll show you what it looks like, but I will be using that in a different video. Honestly, smaller than I anticipated. I mean, it's nice, soft, and squishy, which is nice. Um, but yeah. Good lord. This shit is running for like 47 minutes. Oh. It's going to be an hour by the time I'm done. But anyways, um, let's see. Mascara. I'm going to go to, I have the Stellar Lash Mascara right here from BH Cosmetics. Recently purchased this with two br two new brush holders. I wanted to bring, buy more because I was buying brushes. So, you know. Anyway, so yeah. This is what it looks like. This right here. I'm going to see how it do. Oh, Lord. Where did my mirror go? Really, you're going crazy it's over here <laughs> okay so yeah i've been seeing some hype behind it but that was only from initial launch okay so far it's nice it's a nice simple it's a nice simple mascara it's not anything too crazy yeah it's not anything too crazy I like it. I wouldn't really buy the full one though, but I like this. She cute. She a cute. She a cute mascara. Yeah, again, this is the Stellar Lash Mascara from BH Cosmetics. So, yeah, there is a difference. I do see a difference in how my lashes look. It's nice. Okay. Um, let's see what I'm doing. I think I'm going to do brows or eyeliner. I don't have an eyeliner in here. I have the BH Cosmetics Power Pencil. I think I might add that on. Hmm. I might. I'm going to add like a little bit. Yeah, this is the Power Pencil in the shade black. This is the initial. Um, I don't know shades. Because I think they uh, released it in like a bunch of shades. I'm trying to put this towards my lash line. I'm not trying to mess up my eye look. And I also will mention something else real quick. 
about the um the ad products that I bought. Oh yeah, this is not new by the way. So like I said, a bunch of shit I showed you in the video is new and I said there will be a couple of old ones. A couple of old things that I have. Okay, I don't know why there's black shit on my black shit on my um knuckle here, but it's whatever. I'm trying not to put too much on here. Like I said, I'm not trying to mess up my eye look because I really, really like it. Okay, yeah, like I said, I'm just putting a light layer of eyeliner on. I'm not putting too much on today. Alright, so yeah, this is a nice eyeliner. I recommend it. Also, so far, like a lot of this shit in here, I'm recommending. <laughs> Alright, eye product I am not. Ooh, that I'm going to mention but I'm not going to use today are some falsies from ColourPop. This is in the style Honey. Um, I, mean, I can explain why it looks like this. I kind of fucked up in pulling the lash off. I was too rough and ended up getting a segment off of it. Um, I'm kind of too scared to put it on today. <laughs> but yeah, and like, you know, to seal the deal, got me some good old Kiss Lash Glue. Juicy Jazz made me buy this shit too. So. Anyways, moving on. Um, for brows, I'm going to be using the Morphe Brow Pencil. This isn't really like new-new, but it's the newest one I purchased. So um, I'm going to be rocking with that. This is in the shade Chocolate Mousse. This is supposed to be a soft black. So, you know, I don't know. I'm probably am going to be doing my makeup for freaking... I'm going to go up to hang out with my friends today. I mean, I'm not going to do anything too heavy like this. I'm not going to do, like, a full face, really. But, you know, I don't know. Like I said, today isn't really, like... I'm not really going anywhere special. But, like, I am just wanting to just play with makeup today. I wanted to really relax, catch up. You know, see how everyone's doing and shit. You know? That type of shit. I don't know. Just... We just vibing over here. We just vibing. That's all we doing. Yeah, my brow's looking good today. Good lord. I have to admit, this is some nice brow work of mine. Um, yeah. Here's the brows. How you looking? Um... Well, my brother's getting ready to take his five hour depression nap. Same, but you know. Um, okay, should we see what else? I keep, look, I, go, I can go through my makeup routine a thousand times and I feel like I'm gonna forget a step. But, um, I think, oh, lips. New lipstick, Pat McGrath. <laughs> Finally got my hands on something, Pat McGrath. Well, that was like full size. Like, closest thing I have from the Pat McGrath product is, um, let's see. Uh, they're um, little trial size lip glosses, which I love. This is one's in the shade Flesh 4. I have another one that I like called um, Bronze Sentation. They had a, this was in like a three lip gloss set. The other one they have is Flesh Fantasy, but that was personally too light for me. But these two are really nice. Right, anyways, I have a full sized lipstick from Pat McGrath. It's her Lux Trance lipsticks. There was a deal that was going on. She did um. All Lux Trans lipsticks were ten dollars, and then Trend Mood had like this little coupon code that I could use to get like ten percent off, and I so I ended up buying this forty dollar lipstick for nine dollars, and free shipping. So okay, so yeah, sorry about that. That was a call, but anyways, I hope, honest to God, I hope, um, Pat McGrath does this line of Coke again and does it for her matte trance ones because there are a couple of those I want. So yeah, this is the packaging, really pretty. And you know, I actually was so excited I tried it on yesterday and it looked nice. This is the packaging looks like itself of the lipstick. I have this in the shade Major Red. You know, I'm a slut for red lipsticks. And so yeah, as you can see, I've used it a bit already, but I'm gonna put it on today for this look. So, here we go. Oh my God, yes. And I'm gonna be clearing out my and so when I do my declutter, I'm definitely going to be doing my own a series for lipsticks. 
especially the red one. The red one is so full. I have this and a Morphe lipstick that's sit sitting out there because there's no room. But I will be definitely emptying out this stuff. But, you know, I'm trying to be careful with this because it does seem a bit wobbly for some reason. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah, it's. But yeah, I really like how this looks. I really like this look. It's pretty. Wow, okay. But yeah, this is it. And I'm keeping the packaging because the packaging is so cute. Like, yeah. And then, like, Pat McGrath also had this really nice sale earlier, but I had no money. It was when they said if you um, have a certain amount of money, it's like this is 20% off and 30% off and 40% off when you spend this amount of money. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But anyways, let me just set this face. So I'm going to be using... I already use... The newest setting spray I have is from... Um, Maybelline, but I already use that for the makeup of the month, so I'm not really going to use it again. So I'm going to be dipping back into my NYX Bear With Me 3-in-1 setting spray. Well, it's a multitasking spray. It's Prime Set and Refresh, so I'm going to use this to set this face. Yeah. And I'm going to see how this fares with other products that aren't really, ooh, that aren't NYX related. Let's see how that goes with this. So far, so good. But yeah, this is the final look today. I like to thank you for watching. It's much appreciated. You can like, subscribe, do whatever. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's Chris Makeup. It's in the description below. And also everything that I, um, have on my face all the tools that I use will also be in the description below so um Jesus Christ um but just know that I'll see you in the next one peace